Hi everybody, it's Dr. Roll, and I'd like to welcome you to first grade. Do you know that this year you are going to learn all sorts of new things? Well, I wanted to begin with teaching you about sorting objects. Are you ready to follow me on this journey of learning how to sort objects? I sure hope so, because we're off. When we sort things, it is our job to put them into groups. Do you know what groups are? It's a collection of things. Each object in the group must have something that is alike. Another word for alike is the same. This means then, when we are sorting, we are making groups that are alike. In order to decide whether things are alike or the same, that means we have to pay attention to some things called attributes. In first grade, the attributes we are going to pay attention to are things like the size of things, the color of things, and the shape of things. Are you ready to look closer at these attributes so you can understand what I mean when I say words like size, color, and shape? Well, here we go. Here's something I really need you to pay attention to. Are you ready? Are your spy eyes on? Are your great listening ears on? Very good. Well, here's what I want you to remember. If an object is different in some way, it is not alike and cannot be part of the group. So let's talk about the first attribute, why don't we? It's size. And size talks about how big, or how small something is. Can you think of some big things that can go into a group and some small things that can go into a group? Well, you've just sorted in terms of size. Our next attribute is color. Well, we know all about beautiful colors and there are many to choose from. So when we sort using the attribute color, that means we put a group together where all the objects have the same color. Our last attribute is shape. We've learned four common shapes so far. But did you know that things come in all sorts of different shapes? Well, when you put groups together that have the same shape or that are alike in shape, you are sorting according to shape. I sure enjoyed walking with you through each of the attributes of sorting. To get a better idea of how to sort, you can just use your mathematics book. You can turn to pages 10 and 11 to get a better idea of how to sort. That's also a secret for mommy and daddy. So you can let them know that pages 10 and 11 in your math book will help them to help you. Have a good day and I'll be back to teach you something new really soon.